With the realization that no one knew the truth about my life, my thoughts about the world were shaken. Like driving along a bumpy road and losing control of the steering wheel, tossing you just a tad off the road. The wheels kick up some dirt, but you're able to pull it back. Yet no matter how tightly you grip the wheel, no matter how hard you try to drive straight, something keeps jerking you to the side. You have so little control over anything anymore, and at some point, the struggle becomes too much, too tiring, and you consider letting go. Allowing tragedy or whatever to happen. Hello, boys and girls. Hannah Baker here, live and in stereo. No return engagements, no encore, and this time, absolutely no requests. I hope you're ready, because I'm about to tell you the story of my life. More specifically, why my life ended. And if you're listening to these tapes, you're one of the reasons why. I'm not saying which tape brings you into the story just yet. Fear not. If you receive this lovely little box, your name will pop up. I promise. Now why would a dead girl lie? Hey, that sounds like a joke. Why would a dead girl lie? Answer. Because she can't stand up. Go ahead, laugh. Oh well, I thought it was funny. Anyway, the rules are pretty simple. There are only two. Rule number one, you listen. Rule number two, you pass it on. Hopefully, neither one will be easy for you. When you're done listening to all 13 sides, because there are 13 sides to every story, rewind the tapes, put them back in the box, and pass them on to whoever follows your little tale. And you, lucky number 13, well, you can take the tape straight to hell. Depending on your religion, maybe I'll see you there. If you're tempted to break any of the rules, keep in mind that I did make a copy of these tapes. Those copies will be released in a very public manner if this package doesn't make it through well with you. Do not take me for granted again. Come in. Hey, Hannah. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. It's been a while. I've been trying to get you to come down here. Yeah. It was hard to bring myself here. Hey, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Just everything. We all know the sound a camera makes when it snaps a picture. Or maybe it wasn't a click, I told myself. Maybe I was only freaking myself out. You should have received a map. Throughout the tapes, I'll be mentioning various spots throughout our beloved city for you to visit. Now, I can't force you to go there, but if you'd like a little more insight, just head for the stars. Or, if you prefer, just throw the maps away and I'll never know. Or maybe I will. I'm not actually sure how this whole dead thing works. Who knows? Maybe I'm standing behind you right now. I'm sorry, that wasn't fair. To me, I suppose, these tapes are a form of poetic therapy. Bye, Hannah! You found it, Robin. You found the hidden meaning. You found what even I couldn't find in my own poem. But why did you steal my notebook? Why did you publish it? Why did you offer my thoughts up for ridicule? It's hard to explain unless you've heard some of the rumors about me. There's not much you can do about that. You have to consider just moving past all that. Just get over it. A lot of times that's what life is. You just gotta get over things. Thanks, Mr. Porter. Hannah, wait. No, I think I got what I came for. I just need to move on and get over it, right? What are you talking about? I'm talking about my life, Mr. Porter. Hannah. I was only playing, Hannah. Just relax. Betrayal. It's one of the worst feelings. All the all the oxen free. Two. You can't get away from yourself. You can't decide not to see yourself. You can't get away from the noise in your head. I need it to stop. I need everything to stop. People, school, life. Hannah, do you, do you know how serious that just sounded? Do you, do you realize, Hannah, what you just said? I know. I'm sorry. Hannah, no big deal. I couldn't stand all the emotions anymore. I wanted the world to stop. To end. I couldn't let you drive away. I told you to park the car. I said I was going to call the cops, and you told me to get out. You got away with much more than knocking down a sign, Jenny. And once again, I could have stopped it, somehow. 
Later that night, someone was trying to deliver his pizza on time, and someone else, headed in the opposite direction, was turning. There was no stop sign on that corner, and one of them, one of the drivers, died. You have to be quiet if you're going to be a peeping Tom, because what if they heard? What if she, what if I, found out? Guess what, Tyler Down? I found out. Knock, knock, Tyler. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. What about friends? You're going to have to define friends. Somebody that you can trust. Somebody that you can... Then I don't have any. That's why I'm here. I'm turning to you. True. True. I think I've made myself very clear. But no one's stepping forward to stop me. I don't want to joking. I've got the second set of tapes. Oh, God. Why is she giving them to you? I'll tell you. Just listen to the next tape right now. Why? Clay, I'm not joking. Listen to the next tape. Answer my question! Because it's about you, Clay. The next tape is about you. Listen to it. No matter what I've said so far, no matter who I've spoken of, it all comes back to me. It all ends with me.